Warning, if you are a Samsung fanboy, turn off this video now. I refuse to buy Samsung products. I absolutely refuse to buy Samsung products and I wanna share with you guys the three reasons why I have no interest at all in buying Samsung products, guys. Um, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge Apple fanboy. I love Apple everything. Apple iPhone, Apple iPad, Macs, the whole deal. If it's Apple, I buy it, okay? And uh, I have absolutely no interest in ever buying a Samsung. Like, like I don't even like, ever contemplate that, okay? I don't even ever contemplate that. So I hope you guys really enjoy this. I'm gonna go through the, kind of the, the three main reasons why I don't. By the way, this is Regular Guy Tech. I am Jeremy, and let's get into this, guys. So this first reason is, I would say, this first reason is 90% of the reason why I always buy Apple and I have no interest in, in buying um, Samsung or just basically Android in general, and it has to come down to the software, okay? The software, in my opinion, on Apple devices is, is the best of the best, okay? I've used Android before. Before I was an Apple fanboy, I had Android, okay? I had Android smartphone, I was by Huawei, and I used that phone, and it was such a bad experience compared to the software Apple had that it turned me off forever from Android. And since that time, I've played around with other people's devices that are Android and whatnot, and I am just not a big fan of it, okay? So 90% of the reason is, man, I just love the way Apple software works. It like, literally, like, it doesn't matter like if if you know some other company Samsung or whoever they had you know tech specs even better than Apple which generally actually Apple has the best tech specs out there like you compare their iPads to anything else in the market for tablet wise you they got the best okay they got fastest chips and everything you compare iPhone 10 when it came out compared to any other phone smartphone out there iPhone 10 had the, the fastest chips out there without question you can look at the benchmarks it's not even close between them and every every other phone out there okay so generally Apple has the best specs on the hardware side but even if they don't, it's still not enough to get me to go over to Samsung simply because of the software. I love iOS so much. I'm such a big, huge iOS fan that literally, even, even if Apple had, let's say, slower chips than the competitors, even if they had, you know, a camera that wasn't as better or something like that, like I still would end up buying Apple simply because of the software. It's nice that Apple has phenomenal hardware as well, but I'm just saying like the software experience is what makes Apple so special and the, 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 the way you can use devices together. You know, if I want to send a text from my iPad, I send a text from my iPad. If I want to call somebody from my iPad through my phone, I can do that, okay? There's so many different options, way everything works. AirDrop, you know, being able to just uh, stream to my Apple TV out there. You know, if I'm watching YouTube on my iPad or something, boom, just stream it, just, you know, uh, screen mirroring right up to the TV out there, and I can watch on the big screen, okay? It, that, that experience is phenomenal to me, and that alone is 90% plus of the reason on why I just don't even consider, like, switching to an Android product or Samsung or anything like that, guys. It's just not worth it for me, okay? The second reason is we are Apple shareholders, okay? Um, my wife has a big position in Apple stock. So being that we have a big position in Apple stock, this obviously means I believe in the company a lot, right? Uh, she believes in the company a lot. So we own a lot of Apple stock. So like when you're a shareholder of a company, it would be kind of weird to buy another company's products. Although I would say if I ever felt like I want to buy another company's products over Apple products, I would sell our Apple stock overnight. Like I, I would get rid of that thing as soon as, if I ever felt like, oh man, I really want to get this phone over here or this phone or this tablet or this computer over, a, over an Apple device, I would sell out of my Apple stock because that means they just lost some of their competitive game. But the fact that I absolutely love their device and I have no interest in switching, that just makes me very, very confident in Apple stock as an Apple shareholder. Like, it, like they're going to make more and more in profits as, as time goes on, as long as they keep their customers happy, all right? And then the the last, the third reason is that they are a U.S. corporation, okay? U.S. corporation. I think it's really exciting. I'm a United States citizen. I've always lived here and whatnot. And I think it's really exciting to actually have a great tech company, electronics company that is U.S. based, okay? U.S. based and is the fact that Apple is the biggest company in the world in terms of market cap, profitability, and all those type of things. Um, that's a really cool thing, right? Because when I grew up, when I grew up, you know, my childhood, you know, elementary school, middle school and stuff, all the electronics we had in our house pretty much were all foreign companies, okay? The, the television was a foreign company. The PlayStation was made by Sony. That was a foreign company, right? Um, our DVD player, that was made by a foreign company, our VCR, that was made by a foreign company, our speakers, um, our amplifiers, anything that was electronics pretty much in the house, other than we had one of those old, you know, big desktops, I think that was made by HP or, or Dell or someone like that back then. But other than that, like almost everything electronic rise was like uh, other companies, right? The Game Boy, that was, that, you know, I used to
used to have a Game Boy as a kid, right? The original one, the one that was like huge. It was like a brick, a hole in the brick. Um, like all these things, even like cell phones and whatnot. When my parents first got their first cell phones, which were like bricks and whatnot, those those were made by foreign companies. So all this, this time growing up, it was all foreign company products, all foreign company electronics. The fact that finally now we, we get to use US corporation type products that are, that have you know you know United States citizens running it and that like understand you know the, the type of products we'd want and whatnot. I think it's a really cool thing, and I'm definitely all supportive. But at the end of the day, honestly, if there was a way better product out there that I felt on the software side, I would honestly probably buy it, guys, and I'd probably sell my Apple stock. And you know, as much as I would like to say I care about the United States of America and whatnot, if there was something really that much better out there, I would go get it. But the software that just makes the whole experience so good. Like anybody that has Apple devices, like you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the same reason why every time I've ever known anybody in, in life that got an iPad, a year or two later, guess what they got? An iPhone. Didn't matter if they had a Samsung phone or any type of phone before that. Once they got that iPad and they started using it and getting that software experience, they were like, dude, I want an iPhone now and I want to be able to use this with the iPad and whatnot. And it happens every single person I've ever known in real life who actually bought an iPad, they ended up getting iPhones, okay? Even diehard, I've known diehard Samsung people, they get an iPad, a year later, they buy the new iPhones, guys. It's just the way it works. The software is so good on uh, iOS and whatnot that it's just, it is what it is. So that's why I never buy Samsung. I refuse to buy Samsung. I'm not interested in Samsung at all. Samsung fanboys are gonna get their butt hurt really bad after this video. I already know it, I'm waiting for it. Oh my gosh, I hate you. Samsung's the best, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, having another phone blow up, you know, that's what Samsung does. They make those fire phones. Those, fo those Samsung phones are fire, man. They're so fire that they catch fire and blow up pieces of junk. I would never buy a Samsung. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. By the way, isn't it funny that every time somebody gets sponsored by Samsung, gets millions of dollars, they get caught actually still using an iPhone? They can have any Samsung device they want. They get them for free, and yet those people still get caught using iPhones. Pretty funny, huh?